Paris Sunny Isles Beach, but I also have the privilege of serving as the president and CEO of One Blood, which I actually co-founded about eight and a half years ago. We, we make more than 1,500 deliveries of blood a day to 250 hospital partners, and we distribute more than 1 million blood products a year. I can tell you, there's no substitute for blood. I deal with the head of the FDA in DC. There's no substitute for blood on the horizon. The only way we get blood is through volunteer donors like yourself. I had the honor of being able to meet Kendrick just two weeks after that accident and was able to sit down and have an interview with him. And if you, haven't, uh, if you aren't familiar with his story, I want to show you this short clip so that you can have an understanding of what it is that he's going to share with you today. In an instant, Miami Dolphins player Kendrick Norton has his life turned upside down. That's when I realized how, how bad it was. I seen, you know, I was losing a lot of blood. His dreams of playing in the NFL abruptly end when a devastating car accident severs his left arm. Uh, as long as you're alive, you still have a chance to, you know, make the best of your life, so do it do as such. But Kendrick Norton is not looking for sympathy. He's looking to make a life-saving difference. In his first interview since being released from the hospital, Kendrick sat down with me for an exclusive interview to share his incredible story, revealing the moment he knew his arm was gone and how blood donors saved his life. Uh, letting the fire department know that he's missing an arm, okay? It's literally missing, like, half of his arm is missing. It's just a matter of fact, you need to stop receiving, you can't lose more blood. I knew uh, at the accident um, that it was gone. When we got out of the car, I didn't have it wasn't attached to me, so I already knew everything. That's when I realized how, how bad it was. I seen, you know, I was losing a lot of blood. What happened when the way that you were in the car that your arm was so severely impacted, do you know? I'm not really sure how, how it came to that. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't feel it happen. Um, I just know when we were climbing out of the car, I was trying to do something, and I realized that it wasn't there, and I was like, oh crap, okay, well, we gotta get out of the car. What's going through your mind at that moment? Uh, to be honest, not much. I was just um, trying to, I was looking for my girlfriend, trying to make sure she was okay. So I ended up, you know, just laying, one was telling me to lay down. And there was uh, a couple of pedestrians that helped me out uh, a lot. That I really appreciate it uh, for they, they were out there taking off their shirts and belts and put tourniquets on my arm to, uh, to stop the bleeding. I was just laying there, um, you know, waiting on that ambulance, basically. When I first came to, uh, I was a little angry about the accident, but my girlfriend and my mom and all they ended up just telling me, you know, you're still, you're still blessed to be alive. So after they, after they told me that, I, I calmed down, and that's where that's why I became, you know, good spirits and uh, realized, you know, everything's gonna be okay because I'm still here, still be able to walk, still be able to talk. I just lost, you know, a piece of one of my arms, so you know, it, it wasn't really, a, you know, a big deal. It was, but you know, I stayed out of my life. Thank you, One Blood, for your support. I encourage all you guys to go out and give blood. You never know someone's life. You can be safe. It could be someone like me. It could be a regular person. All lives matter. So I encourage everyone to go out and give what you can, when you can, as often as you can. Thank you, guys. Dr. Dawkins here at the Avatar of Marketing Council event. We just accepted the award for being one of the newest members to join. Just trying to make a bigger impact in the community.